Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and I'm out here on what I feel is a particularly important mission. Jack Station wants to jump, and it wants to go to the newly renamed to Beagle Point, one of the furthest points we can currently reach within the entire galaxy. This monumental undertaking will take Jack Station over 60,000 light years, and would at last give all commanders a refuge out there in the deep void of space. I don't know how long the station will be there for, but it will represent the furthest any station has ever travelled. And for a station to travel that far, it requires serious resources, and with that in mind, Jax has enlisted the help of the Fuel Rats, the player-run search and rescue group that has assisted many thousands of commanders. Together, they have set up a community goal for the delivery of hydrogen fuel, and although I'm here on the final day of that, I'm hoping at least to make a minor contribution. Fortunately, hydrogen fuel is a fairly common commodity, and here within the system I'm currently located at the station Unity, they sell that on their commodities market, so I'm going there right now to collect as much as I possibly can. Jack Station is just short of 200 light years from my current location, and offhand I don't know of any other locations that sell hydrogen fuel right nearby to that station, but we'll find out as we get there, I'm sure. I feel that this is a very important community goal, not only for Jack Station, but also because it represents the opportunity to get stations ever further and deeper into uninhabited space. Located here, at nearly 200 light years away from the central hub of this community goal, I am completely alone and away from all other players that are involving themselves in this particular activity. But nonetheless, as I said earlier, hydrogen fuel is a very common commodity, so it's easy to find, and it was pretty good to find that there were some right nearby. It's also a very cheap commodity, meaning that even new players would be able to jump right in on this community goal and actually help out, and that is something I recommend because nearly all community goals are very high paying. So if you are a new player, this is the sort of thing that's very much worthwhile to look out for. You can make yourself somewhere in the order of many millions of credits just by a simple delivery in many cases, and although you'll have to wait for the payout for when the community goal ends, it's still a very worthwhile activity. Now at this point, I found that I only actually had eight units of cargo space, and I wanted to deliver much more hydrogen than that. So next up then, was to find where to locate high capacity cargo racks. Fortunately for me, there was a system right near Jack Station that actually carried these high capacity cargo racks. I was hoping to be able to carry at least 100 units of cargo and therefore make a good amount of deliveries of the hydrogen fuel that's needed. Now, it probably would have been far more efficient to actually head on out and pick up my Imperial Clipper because that can carry far more cargo than this ship ever would but that's a fair distance away and my jump range on that ship is fairly low and I was already short on time as it was, so it was either the ASP or nothing. Now by the time you watch this unfortunately it's quite likely that the community goal is going to be ended but it does look that it's going to be a very successful community goal. I'm not expecting to see Jack Station though appear at Beagle Point until the final release of patch 2.1. Stations are not normally moved until either server downtime or server updates. Unfortunately at the moment they still require manual move-in, but Frontier have said a number of times that they do want to automate this process eventually. I do believe also that this particular community goal was player initiated like many of them nowadays, and that too would be a nice thing to have automated, although I guess the circumstances for automating the community goal would have to be very well balanced. I like to envision a future with Elite Dangerous where players can take the existing gameplay dynamics such as power play and all the expansion rules and use them to start populating further out into the depths of space. With over 400 billion star systems out there, there's plenty of space available for everyone and it'd be nice to see little isolated pockets of civilization out there. And who knows, maybe those little isolated parts of society could have their own economy as well. Yep, I'm a dreamer I know. But Elite does have an amazing potential, to say the least. So, as you could see there, with my cargo hold now full of hydrogen fuel, it was time to go and check out the Jack Station. As you can see, it exists within this system completely on its own. It doesn't orbit any moons, it doesn't orbit any planets. As they say, it is the travelling space station. 
Now, finally, right out here in the center of this community goal, this system was absolutely chock full of other players coming and going from this station, helping Jax get enough fuel for his huge jump. If you're new to community goals, one thing you need to pay attention to is that you actually sign up for the community gold before you start distributing the commodity that they're asking for. You can do that at the bulletin board here. And as you can see, there's a whole load of background text to this particular community gold. The next step is to go out and locate the commodity or destroy the pipes or do whatever else the community guy is asking you to do. And in that case, I've already done that and got the commodity they're asking for. And you can sell that on the commodities market. This though was a very small delivery and it didn't actually take me very long to do it. But let's head back to the bulletin board and see what type of reward we get. And as you can see, we get well over 1 million credits just for that little tiny bit of work. So now I'm going to head back out there and make a whole load of mother deliveries as well. These types of community goals are always a pleasure to see and be involved with. Seeing all these players come together to achieve something, not just some arbitrary goal, but something that will have a meaningful impact upon the game. And with a load of players now already still situated at Beagle Point, this can only be a good outcome. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and this is the path to the Pleiades. At last, we have got an active community goal to build a station out in a nebula. Pleiades is a chosen destination, and the community goal has now started. I'm going to get to the details on that in just a moment, but before we get to that, I thought you'd like to see what the nebula itself actually looks like, and to see what we are working for.